Assalamu alaikum my dear fellows now we will be doing the replication so before getting to the replication I would like to explain how and rep how this replication is performed and what is actually replication common concept is so okay many times we have heard that most of the brands uh, used to use the terminology replica replica means the same copy with the same feature with the same visualization or in the computer sciences we use the replication as the same data from the same source and the same copy and in general we can say that if there is a human being there is a human being with the same feature with the same height with the same weight okay with the same color so replications leads to that the we create a exact exact clone of it you are familiar with the clone clone mean cloning means the exact replica of this person with the same height with the same color with the same cast read and etc etc so let's get started with a common example why this replication is so important in our daily life i have taken an example of google okay so google have a gmail account as you all know gmail account is very famous okay so it has many most 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 data and it is put in on a server okay it is a server it has all the data and all the accounts details once if the database or servers is being destroyed due to natural disasters due to any other technical problem or any other any other thing so all the data will be lost and there is no other backup or copy of this data so replication is designed to create uh, in de distributive database that we have distributed database we have one server here we have one server here we have one server here so replication performs that if a system or a person logs on into a system the data is converted to a server and server has its data now what replication does the account details is replicated or copied to all other distributive databases and the advantage of this is if one server is failed so user can access his data or get login with the other servers which are having his details okay so this is the major advantage of replication which i understand now let's get started with the step one of replication we have three instances created okay that's good now we have a folder of replication here here and here okay now the first step that i've told you that was configure the distribution wizard now right click on the replication of the first node this first instance is also known as first node click to configure distribution wizard a wizard will be open configure distribution wizard it is in order to create the replication now click next 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 and finish wait till it does all the processes status is in progress as you can see it is successfully published click close and you can see now in the local publications there are local publication and local subscriptions now do the same process with the other two instances click fresh refresh refresh the instance refresh this instance also refresh this instance also now click on second instance replication folder click configure distribution do the same process next 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 and finish wait till it ends see it is successfully done now close now same process with the third instance configure distribution next 
next next next next next and next and finish with now you can see it is also successfully done so click close window all the three instances refresh the three instances refresh the second one refresh the third one okay this is the first step of replication that we have to configure the distribution wizard okay now in the next video i will be telling about the next step thank you so much